Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favorite and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome and to my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family. Just thank you for the love and support to knowing that my videos you resonate with. The, with my ups and downs, you're going with it. You know, you're going through it as well. You know, we're just going through our different journeys, but going through the same same spiritual awakening which is very crazy but it's in our unique way so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already please what are you waiting for like and subscribe even hit that notification bell so you know when your girl's about to upload the next video also if you uh, are comfortable enough please drop me a line or two I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me and even if it's about the positive feedback the content of my video um or you're just up telling me about your impact the gift and how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction also if you feel like the video has been very informative to you or just gave you some good vibes that you would love to share with a loved one family or friend or even a fellow impact that are going through some trying times right now please go ahead and share and while you're at it give me a thumbs up like and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit Thank you so much for stopping by my channel and showing so much love and support. It warms me from the bottom of my heart, and I love you so much. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. Um, today, my uh, my meditation music that I'm listening to is called Twin Flame Miracle Manifestation Music for uh, Music Love Attraction Quantum Energy Healing Sound Therapy. And I'll post that link in the description box below. And today, my video is about uh, when your test strengthens you, oh my God, when your test strengthens you, you're, you know the things that you're going through can really put you through it. Like I was telling y'all, you know, my daughter was admitted into the hospital because she had a really bad stomach virus. My baby, my grandbaby, she's only a year old and had a really bad cold, you know, going through financial issues. And yesterday, my tire had a big hole in it and blew white when I was driving. And it was just so many things having financial issues back to back to back to back to back. You talk about somebody wanted to like pull their hair out, just kick and scream. Just like, you know, I help people every day. I'm putting Pushing out love and light all the time being positive towards a lot of people yeah I might be judgmental a little bit you know what what human is it but nobody deserved to have all that stuff back and back like like I said before you know I, like my mom always says somebody put some roots on me or something I didn't know what was going on but then when I sat back after I got out my emotions I said you know what you're going through a test things are coming at you because they need to know that you're ready and prepared you know the things that we go through a lot of times we feel like universe is putting us through some hell you know it could be you know family just you know disowning us or just cutting the food acting up you know being one-sided with you or you know uh you know, even just spilling hate to you, especially if you're an empath, you already know you're catching it left and right when it comes to energies. If you're a Hayoka, all type of insecurities about to be shunned upon you. So it's just all these things are happening to you. But you know what? God always puts the strongest soldiers to the test. He's always quiet during the test. You know, the teacher is always quiet during the test. I, I made that a, a content, you know, subject a few weeks ago. You know, we go through all these trying things since we've been getting activated left and right. You're getting these messages. You're getting visions. You're getting these vivid dreams. You're getting these dizzy, you know, these dizzy, dizzy spells, you know, these, you know, blackout spells or whatever. And you're, you know you're being tested. It, it takes you to the middle of the cliff where you're ready to jump off of it. But like I told y'all before, we're getting awakened in so many different ways. We're on different levels. You're on 5D, jump from 3D to 5D, 5D. You know, even if they got a 6 or 8D, you probably jumped up all the way up there too. And you're going, you know, you're having these headaches like crazy. You, I mean, you are being tested because we got something very strong and very out there. You know, we're jumping portals, we're astral projecting, going through so many different trials and tribulations. But all these things are there to strengthen you. It's not there to punish you. We, we have to be able to say, okay, when we go through different things, we're going to talk about, oh, today is going to be my day. I'm not going to allow nothing to sit up here and spoil this day. I'm going to do this and this and this and that. The worst thing you can ever do is tell God your plan. <laughs> it will laugh at you some days it'll actually go the way you planned it and then some days the dice is rolled where there's bs being thrown in the middle of the 
you know, in the middle of your project, you know, your plan, you know, something's jacked up about it. I'm like, God, dog, I, I know I said I was going to do this, but then this came through and then this came through and that and this and this and that. And it makes you want to cry. It makes you want to be mad, you know, because things were thrown at me left and right. And all I do is push out stuff. I help people out, try to be, you know, try to put my, my stuff aside and help other people because that makes me feel good. But that's what we're there for. You know, the things I can sit back and look at, you know, I talked to a couple of my love bug family, extended family members. You know, they're like, Rosa, how are you doing? You know, I said I was going through some tests, but you know what? It strengthened me because it really looked at me and said, you know what? Made me think of that song, like, Father, I made it. Wouldn't be there without you. You know, it's like one of those songs. You know, and I, I mean, I cried because I said, thank you. You know, I know you tested me and I was ticked off to the last tick off, but I was okay about it. Because when I got out my feelings, I said, you know what, this has made me tough because I know when things come out, things are going to get crazy and I have to be able to take it. I have to have that tough skin because, you know, I get tested all the time, when it comes, especially come to YouTube. Like I done told y'all, there's times I'm, I'm glad people are giving me a heads up. They like my video and next thing you know, it's, you know, it's unliked. Or, you know, when I download, upload more videos, I get more subs taken away. You know, I said, so I'm constantly being tested. I'm constantly going through those situations. And it, it's like, you know, okay, you're going through this. You have to deal through it. But you are gaining strength from it. You're getting the knowledge you have to get. Because it's just like, when you're taking more away from me, that all it does is make me want to push out more videos. So more things I'm going through, you know, universe tells me, hey, I need you to talk about false twin flames. I'm like, really? Do we have to go through that subject? You know, it's kind of sore for people. It's like, no, because some people are connecting with their twin flames and they need to know what to look for if this is not their twin flame. You'd rather be able to tell them, folks, this this is going on for them to have to go ahead and get their heart broken and go and invest in something they're going to waste their time on. So you're going through all these different things, but all the things you are learning is giving you wisdom, is giving you patience, is giving you faith and actually believing in something. Because if you are an empath, you are a Hayoka, you have been through hell. <laughs> you have been through some hell. You have been through some hell. And you know you have actually went through some different things that has really tried your faith, has really tried your patience, and it really has tried your strength. And at the end of the day, when you all heal from these things and you'll be able to let go when when your test has put you through through the max, you'll be able to look at the end of the day, you know what, if it wasn't for these this hurt and pain and these dark times, I want to know who I really was. If it wasn't for me to invest in self-love, self-respect, and self-knowledge, I wouldn't have been able to know half of the things I know about myself and how the world works. You know, it, it gave you strength in ways that, you know, nobody will ever be able to use me, play me, throw me to the side or intimidate me because I got that strength within myself. If you want to walk away, walk away. I still got me. So you going through all these different things and it's testing you to the max. But at the end of the day, when everything is all done and when the dust settles, you'll be able to say, you know what? I was able to make it through this. I can be able to use my story to help somebody else because you never know. Your key might be that one that's going to unlock somebody out of their own personal prison. You know, so it's just like I appreciate the tests and the trials and the tribulations I've went through. I've met lovable people. I mean, when I'm re reading y'all's comments, y'all just don't know how y'all just pull on them heartstrings, tell me you love me. Or, you know, uh, Gabriel, I'm going to tell you this, and I'm going to tell you this, and it's the last time I'm going to tell you. You don't ever have to worry about me not being friends with you. The only time I cannot be friends with somebody if you disrespect me. That's the only time I'm not going to stop liking you because you're different. I'm not going to stop liking you because you feel like you're an alien or anything like that. When we're freakish, we're strange, we're unusual, we are just unique in our own little special way. So you will never, ever have to worry about me not being friends with you or looking at you any different or, you know, giving you the side eye because I don't look at people like that. I've, I've been done like that my whole life. And I love all of y'all in your own you, little unique way. We're all different, but we're all special in our own way. So there's never a reason for me to not like anybody. You know, unless you disrespect me, unless you, you know, you find a little with kids, I don't play that R. Kelly-ness. You know, that's the only thing. They have problems with it, other than racism. 
those three things other than that i really don't care you can sit up here and say you scratch a monkey's ass every day hey you want to sit up here and scratch a little rafiki's ass you go right ahead you know that's all on you just make sure you wash your hands before you try to shake hands with me or something like that but other than that you know what <laughs> i mean it's just you constantly have tests i i mean i love y'all you know when you drop these lines and tell me the issues you're going with you know i try my best to help you you know give you words of encouragement because i know what it felt like for somebody to disown me because i was different i had people looking it down at me and you know avoided me because i was able to tell them things i shouldn't know you know, I'm used to things like that. So when I can be able to start my own community and not judge anybody from the color of your skin, what religion you are, what place you are from. I mean, I have friends in Australia. I have friends in New Zealand. I have friends in Iraq. I have friends in Japan, you know, Africa, Siberia, you know, all these different places, Turkey, you know, and I love each and every one of y'all. We're like a Crayola box. <laughs> and I love y'all because we're all from different walks of life. We've been judged our whole lives because of who we are. And I'm able to love people just because you are who you are. And it makes me love you more because I can relate to you. It feels good to actually have somebody in my corner that are on the same level as me. If I sit up here and say something, y'all don't look at me like I'm crazy. You know, it's like, oh God, you know, what is she talking about? Because if I talk to somebody who is not woke, they're going to be looking at me like, you really need to find some professional help. That it's not, this is not the type of camp that I'm in. So I love the fact that y'all are different. I love the fact that you're unique. You're able to be on that level where you're seeing and feeling things that you know others really can't feel we, i wish they all could be able to be like that but that's what makes us special that's where it starts off at because the world needs people like us in this world all of us are getting woke left and right left and right and the test that we're going through is going to wake us up and be strong in things we never thought we can ever let go of there's some of us has been sexually abused mentally abused verbally physically abused and you're going to be able to come out of all those hurtful situations heal from situations to where you're being able to love again to trust again break those walls down and that's what all these things that are coming our way are supposed to do so I hope you were able to resonate with the content of my video oh I love y'all so much Gabriel I, you know like I said, don't ever feel like I'll, I will ever disown you because you feel different. I love you just the way you are. That gives me, it makes me love you extra because the fact is you extra like that. <laughs> but anyways, I'm going to give my post notification shout out to Eddie M. Um, with expectancy, I really love you too. You, I mean, you, your comments really warm my heart as well as everybody else's. But, you know, your, cards, your comments really warm my heart. So I hope you, you know, welcome to the beautiful family. You know, we're all here to love each other and accept each other and no, you know, judgment. So like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell. Drop me a line and let me know, you know, your feedback towards the video. Knowing anything that you're going through, you will make it. It just takes a day at a time. Don't be hard on yourself because nobody will love you more than you love yourself. And, you know, share the video and I'll see you on my next video. Much love, peace, and be wow.